A question of character. Alf is the most capable 229-year-old alien to ever exist. America's favorite bad boy alien. Salami struck. Alf left his Melmation home for Space Age candy from the Space Age candy store. Upon his departure, the entire population of planet Melmac decided to dry their hair at the same time. Bad idea. The concurrent plugging in of hair dryers caused planet Melmac to explode, leaving only two survivors, Skip and Rhonda. They are planet wrecked at Mars as well. Alf is violently propelled from the magnificent blast into Earth, the Tanners. Alf has taken residence into the vacant home of the Tanners. Alf wanders wherever he wishes throughout their quarters. A bad boy alien. Alf jumps on their beds. The Tanner house is open to all. Creature. Human, the alien task force. Dressed in brown, these elderly and dapper agents enter the Tanner household. The alien task force has limitless jurisdiction. Using their gray grabby gloves, they seek to not capture Alf, but to assassinate him. They have had enough of this bad boy alien. The alien task force uses an incredible as well as deadly grabby grab grab dance. Grabby grab grab. grab. Grabby, grab, grab. The alien task force shuffles. Alf evades them. Alf has incredible speed. Alf can climb. It is important for Alf to utilize his survival tactics. Alf carries no cash. His primary method of transportation has been immobilized. But Alf has a secondary form of transportation. The space scooter. Alf must use his wits to fix its exhausted power supply. Luckily, Alf is a puzzle-solving mastermind. Alf refers to himself in the third person. Alf calls himself the Alpha. Alf consistently relays witty lines to himself. By inducing humor into tense situations, he allows himself comfort. Alf's main form of attack is a stick of cured meat. Weaponized salami. The devastating Alf strike causes bats to flutter to the ground in a confused state. Alf may pounce. He readies himself before the leap, realizing his goal and promising himself to commitment. I will survive this stalagmite. Success for the Alpha. Alf is incredibly fragile and must never be touched. His nude brown fur armor is weak and useless. The vicious roadways of Earth are a death trap. Fish are a death trap. The Tanner household resides next to a vast ocean. Alf is only able to swim with the correct gear. A swimsuit. Alf is a shrewd barter. Alf understands the dynamics of economic trade. He trades goods for for services. Services necessary for him to perform his daring escape and packing all of those services right within his fur. Power. Low. Alf's meat stick is only good against one enemy. Bats. Otherwise, his only other weapon is a harmless but brutally sarcastic musing. I'm not getting any younger, you know. Devastating. Defense. Low. Alf has little to no defense. But thankfully, if Alf is to meet his demise, he will not go to hell. Alf is saved. Agility. Excellent. Alf is incredibly fast and able to move between obstacles, leaving the task alien force in awe. Grade D. Alf should never be left alone. He is completely incapable of performing a shipwrecked escape, but he will do it anyway. Navigating between jumbled jets, entering the throat of the aggravated and resentful moon, and receiving a ship repair kit to rescue Rhonda. Alf cares not of Skip. Behold the last of the Melmations and the key to restoring their species, lovingly known as the Alpha. Catfish, get it? Next episode, he is going to give you head. Quest with me, learn with us, enrich your mind, empower your anchor like our material. Subscribe to our page, put character into quest. Return every Monday for more. A question of character. Don't put me in the fruit cellar. Oh.